Margaret Ishmael visits this clinic every few months to get medication to treat her HIV. When she was first diagnosed, this help wasn't available. She waited six years for antiretroviral therapy, or ART. I see a big change when I start the ART. I know that there is a hope. Okay. She's one of almost 30,000 Papua New Guineans on the treatment. But getting and staying on medication can be difficult because of extreme remoteness and poverty. Discrimination is another thing. Some they want to hide their uh, status. They don't want uh, nearby uh, people to know that they, uh, they have uh, uh, the virus. An inconsistent supply of drugs from the Department of Health has also been a major problem. If there isn't enough, nurses can only give people two weeks supply instead of two months. We have a lot of uh, missing appointments. They are not coming in on time. I didn't take my ART for six months. ART was not in our province. It's been a problem across the country. Going on and off treatment contributes to drug resistance, which is when the medication eventually stops working. Okay, you see it's going up there. PNG is now in the top five countries in the world for HIV drug resistance. It's making me worried and scared. In response, every patient in PNG is being moved onto a new drug. It's been a mammoth task in a very short time where a number of people have really risen to the occasion. Ensuring consistent supply of this new drug will be vital to ensuring HIV positive people in Papua New Guinea live happy and healthy lives. Natalie Whiting, ABC News.